Having a difficult conversation with a client as an engineering project manager is not easy to do. However, once you do it, it gets easier and easier every time. In this week's engineering management lessons video, I want to give you two specific instances where you might have to have one of these difficult conversations, but how you can do it in a successful way that builds your confidence and makes it easier the next time around. Let's jump right in. So there are two instances that I've seen most commonly for engineering professionals where they have to have a very difficult conversation with a client. The first one is when the client is not responding to the engineer with information in a timely manner. If that happens, that's a problem because if you don't get the information you need, you can't execute on the project and the project doesn't get finished or completed on time. And then guess what? The client who failed to give you that information gets mad at you and doesn't hire you or your firm again. So you need to be firm on this and it's not an easy conversation to have, but I recommend pulling the client aside, creating a specific meeting just to talk about this so they know the importance of this. You know, you could say something like, Anthony, do you have 15, 20 minutes? I need to talk to you about a real serious issue on the project, right? Be firm with that. And when you have the conversation, explain the issue to the client in a way that they understand how their lack of execution on this, their inability to get you information on time, is only affecting their project negatively and ultimately, most likely, their bottom line, right? If a project gets delayed, they're likely going to lose money in some way, shape, or form. So you can certainly be polite about it, but you must be firm about it. You know, Anthony, listen, I know you want us to get this project on time for you, but if I don't get the information from you and your team in a timely manner, we can't do that. So I just want to be clear about that right now at the onset of this project. And if there's anything I can help to expedite you getting us the information, I'm more than willing to do that. Maybe that looks like a, a regular meeting each week. Let's set that up. All right, so that's the first instance. Now let's look at the second instance that happens commonly, which is scope creep, or when a client asks an engineer to do something that's outside of the original project scope, and they're not expecting to pay any additional money for it. In this situation, also not an easy conversation to have, but again, you need to be confident and you need to be firm. You need to explain to the client again, listen, Anthony, uh, we're excited to move your project forward. However, I want to let you know that that inspection that you asked us to do last week was not part of our original project scope. Therefore, we're more than happy to do it for you. We can get it done in a timely manner. But in order for us to do that, I'm going to give you a scope of work with a fee associated with that work. Would you like us to move forward with that? Now, the first time you do that, they're going to probably be angry at you. I'm paying you all this money. You can't just do that too. You have to stand firm because if you let one out of scope item you know, creep into your work, they're going to keep asking you for more. Now, you always want to use your judgment. If you're working on a multi-million dollar project and they're asking you for something that's a very small thing, of course you can throw it in. You have to use your judgment there. But in most instances that I've seen where engineers fall into that habit, the client can then take advantage of them and ask for more and more work and expect not to pay for it. So these are two instances where you're going to have to have a difficult conversation with a client. But once you do it, each time it gets easier. And if, as long as you let the client know that ultimately you're trying to provide value to them and what you're asking them to do is going to help you do that, usually after that first couple of conversations, they appreciate the honesty. You build a great relationship and hopefully one that lasts for years to come over many projects. If you've dealt with either of these situations or other situations, we'd love to hear your comments below on how you handle them. We have thousands of engineers that watch our videos and they could certainly benefit from your advice and knowledge. And please be sure to subscribe to our channel here. We put out videos like this on a weekly basis to help engineers become better managers and leaders. I'll see you next week.